Lowering your cholesterol level is so easy you might not even believe it. Step one is understanding that it's what you do not eat that is most important. Uh, um, let food be your medicine or your way to prevent needing medicines. So here's the deal. Stop consuming all meat from any animal, all dairy products from any animal, and all eggs, again, from any animal. It doesn't matter. Um, the trick is to eat a whole foods or mostly whole foods plant sourced diet. This can be so powerful that you really should only do it under the supervision of a credible medical expert. And you should be sure you do not have any food allergies or nutritional deficiencies. So what should you be eating? That's really pretty simple. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, beans, lentils, herbs, and fungi, mushrooms. That's all any human being really ever needed to thrive. And if you think you need to have meat, eggs, and dairy, um, you're mistaken. Unless it's a matter of starvation and really here in the United States, the very last problem most people have is lack of food. We have too much food, not enough healthy nutrition. Once I finally got it through my thick head that I needed to get rid of all meat, eggs, and dairy, it was surprisingly fast how quickly I finally, after numerous failed attempts, got off my cholesterol medicine for good well over eight years ago. Part two of this is maintaining a healthy weight range. In my particular situation, higher cholesterol seems to be a genetic issue. And what I've noticed over the past eight years or more is that anytime I start putting on extra body weight, even though I'm consuming no cholesterol, uh, my cholesterol numbers do go up. And here's the good news. The easiest and best way to get into a healthy weight range for the long haul is by consuming a whole foods, all plant-based diet. Now the whole foods part is where most all of us struggle. I only consume foods from plants and I struggle with avoiding the processed foods. Uh, but the things to avoid are highly processed oils. Those are not health foods. Uh, they might be less bad than other items, but uh, minimize or eliminate processed plant-based oils. Uh, um, reduce, perhaps dramatically, your intake of processed sugar, especially. Uh, in the cases of sugar, processed sugar, and sat, you know, processed plant-based oils, those things trigger an appetite for even more of them. Mentally, the um, hard part is, if, uh, is the elimination of foods you, you like or think that you need and like. Um, focus more on the integration of the healthy, nourishing, healing, plant-sourced foods that you like. If you look hard enough, you'll find them. The more you eat of them, the more you will crave them. And slowly over time, you'll crave more and more of the foods that maybe you thought you didn't like from the plant kingdom. That is basically it. The um, only suggestions I would have above and beyond a mostly or, or all whole food plant-based diet is supplement with some vegan B12. It only costs a few dollars per year. It's cheaper just to supplement that than it is to um, be tested to see if you're B12 deficient. So if you are not drinking water straight from streams and 
uh, lakes. You're not eating plant-based foods right out of the ground or off the plant. Um, supplement with a B12 just to be safe. And for those of us who are living pretty far away from the equator, where, where we go f through seasons where we could easily lack sunlight, consider during the low light months supplementing some magnesium and calcium and D vitamins. And perhaps go out of your way to uh, get some real sunlight on your skin.